In the Asia session update for gold and silver, we discussed that gold is a sell below 1954 and buy above 1960. And specifically, those who want to trade risk free should wait for 1967. Precisely, traded beautifully above 1960 and got the resistance at 1967, still trading in range. At the same time for silver, no trade zone was between 24 to 24.3, and precisely, it is trading in the same zone now. So, what to expect to? which position you should take and at what levels in order to profit trading gold and silver we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon this is the second update for the day those who watched the first update definitely would have profited now also you can remain updated by joining my free telegram channel the link is mentioned in the channel and video description with this let's start first we look into gold followed with silver do watch till the end listen to it carefully note down the levels trade as per the level. Now if you look at the gold's price on the early chart, see the pole there, then this flag and it has given a breakout but it's still getting the resistance that's its favorite 1967 levels, beautiful resistance exists here. 1967, 71, 70, 71, very very good resistance exists here and beyond that we may see it flying high. So yes again the buying entry now is above 1967 levels, you can see it is trading in this bullish channel getting the support from 1962 60 levels on the downside also if you look at the moving averages they have started to diverge this is a good bullish indication now on the rd charts you can look this look at this this is a bullish channel as of now on the rd charts but yes if it stays below 1960 you can again see 1954 is my favorite only and only if gold breaks below 1954 you can consider that to be bearish now what has happened drop retracement double top and if it continues on the downside there could be further drop so below 1954 again 1950 45 40 are the target now if you look at the directional movement this is bullish trying to converge stock stochastic is overbought and it, that is why we can see it is trying to cool with couple of red candles at the same time the MACD has crossed over trading with little divergence trying to trade bullish you can see the MACD here see the waves here and this is the third wave which is beginning now RSI comfortable neither bullish neither overbought nor oversold and if you look at two hour, now looking at two hour charts also this is the same phenomena which I am seeing here it is a breakout out of the flag formation however good resistance is seen here at 1967 beyond that 1970 once this zone is passed you can expect more bullishness 75 80 85 till 85 it has got greater greater resistance beyond 85 only silver can uh, gold can be expected to rise beyond 2000 level and if you look at the moving averages see the exponential moving averages are trading with divergence this is a bullish sign at the same time see it retraced till here now trying to trade above these levels at the same time also you can find out it is trading in this bullish channel and the slope here and here is different which is indicating little more bullishness but remember this could be a double top because it is not yet sustained above 1967 levels and only if it sustains above 1967 you can say further bullishness to be confirmed else a possibility of a drop exists i will watch out how it behaves at 1960 below that 1957 54 very very good support and if and only if 1954 is taken further bearishness directional movement bullish trying to converge stock i stick little overbought macd trying to cross over for a buy this is the third wave which is beginning here RSI almost flat and on the 3 hour, likewise on the 3 hour charts a reversal sign, couple of big bullish candles. Also if you look at the every candle has a wick on the upside which is leaving a room for the next candle to proceed with the bullishness there. Right now yes it has formed a tail trying to look upwards. Possibly once it stays above 1967 you can buy again for 1970, 75, 80, 85. At the same time on the downside, see the support is seen now from the 20 and 50 period moving average at 1960. This is a very very good support. Below that there could be little more bearishness which can be seen taking it till towards 1955-54 levels. Directional movement bullish, stochastic looking up, MACD crossing over for a buy here, trading with little divergence, RSI flat and on the 4 hour likewise on the 4 hour chart see a retracement, couple of bullish candles and first candle second candle leaving a room on the upside uh, yes beyond 1967 you can definitely expect third bullish candle there on the upside also if you look at the body size see body size here is diminished that is where i am getting a little concerned but at the same time on the downside 60 1960 levels definitely now going to be very very good support directional movement moderately bullish stochastic rising magnet divergent and bullish rsi flat and on the day 
Now look at the daily chart. See, first of all, lower lows are done. Lower lows, lower highs. It means a zone between 54 and 71, 72 possibility exists that it can try to rise till there. But at the same time, look at this zone. This is a very critical zone. You can see till 70, 71 levels and 60. Four levels. This is also you can see the moving averages are trading with divergence here, getting the maximum resistance in this zone. Or uh, on the downside, the support is uh, very good till towards 1950 and 40 levels. Directional movement trying to cross over for a buy. Stochastic flat. MACD on the daily charts is divergent, bullish, looking upwards. It can continue to diverge more. It can continue to rise more. I will wait for it to stay above 67 RSI is almost flat now considering this you can buy at 1967 expect 1970 75 80 85 only above uh, 1985 if you see gold then you can definitely expect that it is going to fly past 2000 and 2020 levels also very very soon else one point to remember here is it is still consolidating with the flat bottom lower highs hence there is little more uh, consolidation which is going on still not to be uh, declared bullish till the time it stays below 1985 levels now next on the downside you can sell here at 1960 now but then expect 1957 54 very 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 good support till 1954 and then below that 1950 45 40 1945 is the ultimate support we have all seen that and i have been following this i have been mentioning those levels since long now so uh yes you can sell here at 1960 but then Till 1954, you have to remain extremely cautious, alert, it can bounce back, it can reverse, it can trade bullish again and hence one has to trade strictly with the stop loss at cost. So take your positions accordingly, uh, sell at 60, buy at 67. Now let's have a look at silver and before we proceed to if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 23rd batch starts on 1st of July. Register yourself now itself. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my signals group. We are trading as per the signals. Definitely, you can benefit. Now, look at silver on the early charts. You can find out, see the big bullish candle there. Then, since then, it is trading in this box. 24 levels are certainly very, very good support. Now see the prices were divergent here from the moving average they have converged and it has dropped till towards the 50 period moving average. Now again looking upwards again trying to diverge more. Yes the same levels 2430 which we have maintained since morning. Uh, same levels you can buy 2430 but then 2440, 50, 60. Till 60 very very good. Resistance there on the upside beyond that you can expect $25 levels directly. Remember from $24.60 to $25 it can cover up in a very quick manner and hence you can stay long specifically if it trades about $24.60. Till $24.60 put a 10 cents trailing stop loss. $24.40 is also one resistance and then we can find out very good resistance on the upside till $24.60 levels. Now on the downside you can see $24.10 has given it a very very good support. Now it is failing to break past this zone and hence I will wait for 2430 or 2410 to be breached on the downside. Directional movement moderately bullish, stochastic near to overbought zone, MACD trying to converge crossover for a buy, it has not yet crossed over. RSI almost flat and on the 2 hour, now on the 2 hour charts prices diverge from the 20 period moving averages. Here is this conversion you can see again getting the support from this zone. Till 24 it has got maximum support and above 24.3 it may try to diverge more. It can try to continue with the bullish momentum there. Directional movement is bullish. Stochastic is rising and the MACD is now trying to converge crossover. See uh, first wave, second wave I will wait for if it converges, crosses over and tries to rise. RSI almost flat and on the 3 R now the same phenomena you can see here how beautifully uh, the 20 period moving average has given it a support now trying to trade within this channel also if you look at see getting the support there this is the first bullish candle there is a little wick on the upside it is retraced taking the support from the 20 period simple moving average trying to look upwards possibly may try to hit 20 30 20 24 30 24 40 zone which is definitely a good resistance directional movement bullish stochastic rising from the bottom macd willing to converge crossover it is not yet crossed over it is not yet bullish it is trying to converge but remember it is still at a little higher levels which has the potential for silver to stay bearish for a while however however remember uh, you can see silver on the 
4 hour charts this time it is just turning from the median of the channel and uh, possibly it can try to again reverse from here and continue on the upside it is still in the bullish channel if you look at RSI it is trying to look up for trade a bit bullish and on the 4 hour charts now looking at 4 hour charts definitely the support is seen at 2410 with that it is trying to trade in this bullish channel 2440 levels the next resistance possibly it may try to hit those levels for once also if you look at 2440 see multiple candles trying to break past but closing below 2440 this is the power of resistance there possibly uh, I will see it again hitting 2440 but then on the upside also it can break past by till 2460 it has got greater resistance directional movement bullish stochastic rising from the oversold zone looking upwards MACD is uh, trading with slight bearishness here you can see it has crossed over and it is still trading bearish you can see this but at the same time remember it has still got lot much of room on the upside you can also look at see the drop here was till minus 40 and it can cover the uh, journey till towards plus 40 levels and if you look at the RSI this is almost trading comfortable now trying to look upwards trying to trade bullish now look at the daily charts on the daily charts just map this lower highs lower lows which means 2440 2410 or 24 dollar levels it is trying to trade in this after this bullish candle just consolidating here any break beyond 2460 is something which is going to make silver bullish also if you look at the moving averages now are on the verge of a conversion crossover it is not yet crossed over till now it was trading with the bearish bias and till 2380 on the downside till 2360 very very good support exists for silver directional movement crossing over for a sell it is not yet crossed over stochastic very near to the highs MACD divergent in now this is one point which is giving hope for silver as it is almost reversing from the bottom it can continue to carry forward the bullish momentum RSI almost flat and hence above 2430 you can buy and sell below 2410 for this 20 cents do not trade below 2410 24 dollar is the maximum support and below that 2380 levels 2380 2360 is the next strongest support so only sell at 2410 at the same time buying at 2430 remember 2440 very very good resistance 2450 60 till 2460 put a 10 cents trailing stop loss and if it breaks beyond 2460 Certainly the target is $25 levels and beyond. Remember if it breaks beyond 25, $24.60 the target is $25 levels and till then remember $24.40 is a very very good resistance and on the upside $24.60 till there very good resistance exists. So take your trades accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Join my mentorship badge, join my signals channel. Reach out to me for any of your trading or trading queries. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.